We are going to be ranking rabbit supplies. This is a hot take, actually. Hello, buns, and welcome back to Cinnabon Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. And you might notice that I have my laptop here. That is because today we are going to be ranking rabbit supplies. You can make these tiers on the internet and I thought it was time to make a bunny one. So essentially what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna list out a ton of different rabbit supplies and I'm gonna rank them from what I think is just the absolute best of the best to the absolute worst. So let's check out what our ranking system is gonna be. And by the way, if this is your first time seeing my face, we would love to have you around. We post two videos a week, every single week. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this video if you found it useful. Also, all the things I talk about today, except for the things that kind of suck are gonna be linked in my description. So if you are getting a bunny, need some tips, go ahead and check it out. All right, so let's just start at the very top here. We have Binky, which that is the best of the best. That is the absolute best products out there. And if you don't have this, then you're truly missing out. We know that a rabbit binky is like a magical and amazing thing. Imagine this product is the binky of products, you know? Next up is add to cart. Now let me be very clear that anything that we put in add to cart, that is an essential item. It just may not be as exciting as binky, but anything in the add to cart section, that is like absolutely required purchasing, required owning if you have a rabbit. Next up, we have back of cabinet. So I have a rabbit cabinet, it's the Cinnabon cabinet, and you may have a closet, you may have a basket, but it's the same idea. It's stuff that you have and you like to have and you use every once in a while, but it's kind of lives in the back of the cabinet. It's not your favorite stuff. It's just like, there, you know? Pretty much anything from back of the cabinet up, I would say is stuff that you wanna have, but like the rankings within those is like the level of excitement and the level of importance. So next up is Skip It, and this is the stuff, don't waste your money, don't waste your time. I feel like I bought every single product known to man at the beginning, so I can kind of tell you from my experience like what's worth it, what's not. And then this very last section here. This is Rehome Your Rabbit, because if you own these things and you have a rabbit, just like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Actually, let me say, if you own these things and you have a rabbit, perhaps try checking out this video and maybe adapting these things, but I'm just being a little facetious and dramatic here. Any of the items in this section are just like not, not good for bunnies. You should not be using. And if you are using them, I highly recommend checking out our channel and learning what you should be using instead. Let's start with something super easy and essential. A litter box. I have a bum box here. I'm gonna put it right in, add to cart. Because let's be real, it's no one's like binking about a litter box, you know? It's like, they're dirty, I have to clean them. But you absolutely need a litter box if you have a rabbit. Like they need somewhere to go to the bathroom. And make sure that when you do get a litter box, it's one that's large enough to fit your rabbit that they can do a full turn in. I have the bum box linked here, that's what I use, and it's great, I've talked about it before on my channel. It has like a grate that like separates the poop from their bodies, but just a large litter box will do. And I guess on that note, I can go ahead and talk about the other type of litter box I have on here, which is the ones you usually see at the pet store. It kind of looks like the bum box here, but it's like a quarter of the size. It's these tiny little like triangle litter boxes that are made for cages, which automatically, yikes, no. It's hard to like tell the scale in the picture, but typically if you see a litter box that's like this big, that's really just the size of your rabbit's bum, it's not big enough for your rabbit. One thing to note for the bum box is that it is the perfect size for Cinnabon, but if you have a large rabbit, I would recommend getting a larger litter box. You could get a cat litter box, just something big enough where your rabbit has room to move around, do a circle, all that stuff. Let's do lettuce. This is romaine lettuce. Yeah, add to cart. Another, just essential. If you have an adult rabbit, they should be eating their greens every single day. Romaine lettuce is one of our favorites. It's a safe one. It's really good for their tummies. Romaine lettuce, we love, we stand. And I guess on the other side, iceberg lettuce. Man, this is looking, <laughs> the board's looking a little um, parallel right now, but I promise it won't be this way the whole time. Iceberg lettuce. So greens are great for your rabbit, but not all greens are great. You can watch the video I did all about rabbit diets that I'll link below, but iceberg lettuce is really high in, I believe it's calcium, and it just doesn't have the nutrients that your rabbit needs. So if you're feeding your rabbit iceberg lettuce, I highly recommend stopping that and switching over to something like romaine. All right, next up, oh, let's do this exercise pen. I'm gonna put this... I'm gonna put this in back to cap or back of the cabinet. So an exercise pen is pretty much essential when you first bring home a rabbit. It's really useful for like 
training them with their litter training it's really useful for getting your rabbit used to free roaming it's really good for like bridging the gap between like free roaming and having their own space i guess i should make it really clear that this ranking is like my own personal ranking there's a few takes in here that i think are universal but at least for me in my situation once i was done training cinnabon i haven't really touched the exercise pen now every once in a while it's useful to pull out if i need to like separate her from something or if we take her somewhere so that's why i still have it this is something that if you could borrow it, maybe that would be good or you could like resell it later, but it's kind of my take. All right, next up, let's do, let's do a tent. Add to cart. Y'all know we love a tent. Let's say not just a tent, but like we'll call this a hidey house. I just have the tent on there. Rabbits need a hide to hide in. They are prey animals. They like to have a spot. So definitely, definitely recommend if you have a rabbit, you need some type of hide. I like our tent. How about a little bed? I'm putting this in, skip it. So Cinnabon does not use any of her beds. When I first got her, I bought all these blinkies and beds and she never once has slept on one. Now it might be different for your rabbit, but rabbits really will just like flop over anywhere. And so I found with Cinnabon that every single one of the beds I bought her was never touched. So I would say, skip it and if you find that your rabbit is maybe snuggling up to a lot of like fabrics and stuff you could get them something which i guess could lead me into this next one which is the snug -a bun kind of bed and this is a hot take because i know a lot of bunnies like this but for me it's also a skip it and it's just for the same reason i just said cinnabon does not enjoy laying on things i know some bunnies really love these blankets they have like a pillow on each side so they can lay in between it i don't know maybe wait until you have a bunny or like know their behaviors before going out and buying it like i did all right let's do something let's do something good um well i guess you know what a cage a hutch boom rehome your rabbit rabbits should not be living in small cages they should not be living in hutches it is most cages and hutches have wire flooring which is not the right flooring for your rabbits it's not enough space for them Rabbits need space, whether they're living in an exercise pen that's large enough for them, a room or your entire house, they need to have space to run around and move. I have a ton of videos on that that I'll link below, but Hutch, goodbye. No, not on our channel. Okay, let's do, let's do something. Let's do something good after that. I feel like I haven't done any binkies yet. So let's do the ultimate binky, the Lavoie Air Purifier. Y'all, if you have followed even one of my videos, you know about this. Our air purifier is the single greatest thing that I own when it comes to bunny care that you wouldn't necessarily think about for bunnies. It just keeps the smell of hay at bay. People will walk into my house and have no idea that I have a rabbit because this thing is constantly just like pulling the odor and like fur and dust and everything out of the air. Rabbits produce a lot of fluff. There's always fur everywhere. There's hay particles. It's just the air can get dusty and gross. So if you have a rabbit and you don't have an air purifier, just do it, I promise. This is the ultimate thing, the ultimate binky, if you will. All right, next up, let's do a carrier. I would say, add to cart, you need a carrier. Um, but is it back of cabinet? Uh, no, I would, mm, mm, okay, yeah, I'm put it, I'm moving, I'm moving it to back of the cabinet. Only because I really only use it like when I take her to the vet or on a trip. I'm not using a carrier every day, but you need to have one because you're gonna have to take your rabbit to a vet and need a way to move them around. But yeah, I would say carrier is don't spend too much money on it. Don't worry too much about it. Just make sure you have one. Um, I also have a carrier purse on here. Um, I'm putting it in skip it. I know that I use it a lot because I take Cinnabon places, but it's definitely like a like a luxury item. Like you don't need a carrier purse for your rabbit. They do not need it. A lot of people will never even use it. So I would say wait until you have a rabbit to know if your rabbit likes to leave the house and go on adventures and then maybe you can get one. Yeah, a carrier purse is like fun to have, but so unnecessary and most people won't use them. All right, next up, let's do berries. Um, berries are, I'm gonna say add to cart. Berries are just like the best treat for rabbits in my opinion, one of the best. I mean, they're really high in sugar, so you don't wanna feed them a lot, but they're also really high in antioxidants and they don't have any other added stuff in, like natural organic things are just always better than things with a lot of preservatives and stuff added in, so I love berries. Berries are a great treat. I give Cinnabon a raspberry like every other day and she loves it, it's really cute, we get to share food, it's fun. Let's do another treat, oh. These types of treats, however, the like yogurt drop treats, absolutely not. Rabbits can't eat dairy, so I don't know why there are treats that have dairy in them marketed for rabbits. That's just, 
not correct. So anything that has like yogurt and like all of that gross stuff in it, like the more ingredients things have in it, most likely the worse they are for your rabbit. So I'll say, here's one. This is the Selective Naturals Meadow Loops. I'll say back of the cabinet. I actually feed Cinnabon these a decent amount of time, but it's if you're choosing a treat, I would always rather feed her like a banana or a fruit or something natural over something with more ingredients in it. But as far as treats go, Selective Naturals is a great brand, which I'll counteract everything I'm saying with this next one, which is the Selective Naturals Garden Stick, which I'm putting into Binky, and that is only because of Cinnabon the Rabbit. Another thing that y'all probably know if you follow Cinnabon is that every single night, the way I tuck her into bed is I give her half of one of these garden sticks and then she takes it and runs to her bed. It's like her bedtime treat, her bedtime dessert. Yes, it's the exact same rule as like the Meadow Loops, but because of its personal spot in my heart, it's going in Binky because it's so stinking cute watching her take her stick to her bedroom. All right, next up, um, water. Let's do a water bowl. Water bowl is add to cart. Rabbits drink almost as much as like a small dog, so they need a lot of space to drink. They need a lot of water each day. So a water bottle like this one here can go into the rehome your rabbit section. They can't get water from bottles like this. It's just too hard. Let's do let's do some toys. Okay, this is one of those like variety packs that you'll see on Amazon. I'm gonna put it in Skip It because I've bought these types of packs. Cinnabon maybe played with like one of the toys. If you're gonna get a variety pack of toys, I would get something like this, the three balls. I'm putting that in back of the cabinet because Cinnabon is obsessed with this ball here, the husk one, but she doesn't really like the other two. So it's good to see what type of toys your rabbit likes. So this type of variety pack is good because it's more natural toys and you can kind of see the textures they like. But if you get something with like all these colors and so many things, you're just gonna end up with a lot of waste. So, but my favorite type of rabbit toy, I'm gonna move this to add to cart, add to cart. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm doing it, I'm putting it in Binky. I love on Small Pet Select, they have so many natural toys and there's these like loops that are made of like clover, there's some made out of like different types of hay, rye. Those are the types of things that Cinnabon just loves and it, there's some added fiber in it too because they're different types of like grass hays and stuff like that. Those are just like the elite toys for Cinnabon. Anytime I get a box from Small Pet Select, Cinnabon is just like, yep, this is amazing. So I would say as far as toys go, really almost anything on their website is great, but I really love the ones that are like the loops, like the hay type of loops. And then I'm gonna put these lollipops here. I'm gonna put them in back of the cabinet too, not because I don't love them, but I because I do, but they're not as healthy, so I wouldn't, I don't feed Cinnabon these very often. I feed them to her just like as special occasions. Um, these are awesome treats, really good if you're gonna be away, like gone for a long time, or you just notice your rabbit is extra chewy. Um, let's do a snuffle mat. I'm gonna say, oh, I'm torn, I love our snuffle mat. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say Binky for a snuffle mat. I think snuffle mats are a brilliant invention. Rabbits just need a lot of enrichment and one of the ways they get food in the wild is by like foraging for their food. Snuffle mats, you can like hide forage in it, you can hide pellets in it, you can put like hay and stuff in it and it's just a fun way for your rabbit to interact with their food. So I love our snuffle mat. We use it every single day. So I think that's a binky and this is a hot take actually, but I'm gonna put, eh, I'll put it in back of cabinet. There's like these like rabbit food toys that you can get, they're like training toys and I have quite a few of them. They're very fun, but once your rabbit like figures out the puzzle, you like hide food in it and they find it. Like once your rabbit figures out the puzzle, it's just not as fun. So I find myself just always using a snuffle mat. I just, I like having it out. I like that it's big. I love these toys, but the snuffle mat for me is like the elite forage item. Little Remedies Infant Gas Drops, add to cart. These are, you need these. The, anytime your rabbit starts to go into stasis or is having any tummy troubles, this is something that you can administer right away before even going to the vet. I have a video about GI stasis that I can link more if you're more curious, but I think that every single rabbit owner needs to buy this immediately and have it on hand. Let's do hay, add to cart. Um, duh, like this is, rabbits need hay to survive. So this is like the most important part of your rabbit's diet. If you don't have a good hay for your rabbit, depending on their age, it's either alfalfa or a grass hay, then they're just not gonna be healthy. So a hay is a definite add to cart and you need that at all times. And then the last thing I have on here, I don't know if I've talked about much on this channel, but it's going into binky. So tea, it's my favorite rabbit treat. And it's these like dandelion root bites that I got from the well-kept rabbit. 
and I am obsessed. They're so good for her. Like they're not super high in sugar. It's a lot of fiber and it's good for her teeth because they're hard so she can grind down. But Cinnabon loves them. I use this as a training treat because they're super itty bitty, but I also will use it as forage and just put it in her snuffle mat. It's so nice, especially because I definitely fall victim to wanting to give Cinnabon treats all the time and I just can't do that. It's not healthy for her. So I am obsessed with these. If you have not tried them yet, I definitely recommend. They're the best things ever. This is my ranking list. How do, I think it looks pretty good and balanced, I would say. I'm sure there are things that I left out, but these were kind of the things that were top of mind for me when I think of rabbit care and just rabbit basics. Let me know if you liked this style of video. I know it's a little bit different, but I hope it was helpful. Let me know too if you are getting a rabbit soon. I feel like if you're checking out this video, you might be like, looking and researching rabbit stuff. So if you're new to the rabbit world, hello, welcome. We're so excited to have you. And if you are not, and you just wanted to see my like hot takes, I hope that I brought you some entertainment. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in our next one. Bye buns.